All right, hey guys, what's going on? This is Hopfoot, and it, yep, it's me again. Surprise, surprise. We are back for what is maybe the last, or could possibly be the second to last. I don't know. Depends on what's going on. Episode of could even be third to last. I mean, who knows at this point? Um, it's hard guessing when a game's gonna end, especially when you don't know, you know, anything about it. Um, you can just kind of guess based on what's going on. But yeah, anyway, uh, welcome. Appreciate you joining me. Uh, appreciate you hanging around at Brad Cat and seeing all what we're up to at any given moment. And yeah, we are doing a Gone Home playthrough, not a Chaos playthrough. Uh, if you want a Chaos playthrough, you can check out the uh, other playthroughs that I do, but not this one. This is not a Chaos playthrough. Um, so, but I, I'm glad you came by anyway. Maybe you came by because it's not a Chaos playthrough. Interesting. You have to let me know if that's it. Uh, be interested to hear that stuff. And welcome. If you're not familiar with what all is going on here in this thing, well, we came home from a trip overseas from about a year, and then this is a new house. We've never been here. The family moved in when I was gone. We're finding out, finding out all sorts of stuff about our uh, my parents, this character who I'm playing, his parents, uh, washed up dad who was a writer, is washed up now, and maybe he's uh, becoming... Um, not uh, i like that cup um maybe he's becoming not so washed up anymore and um i lost, I lost my train of thought but yeah maybe he's not so washed up as he thought he was uh, uh the mom who might be uh cheating on him with ranger rick and the sister who is somehow it's like we i don't know if we're like have found her diary in the future and we're thinking about we're thinking back about when we were walking through the house and finding things and then like applying like this is all a memory and we're applying a voiceover based off the diary stuff very interesting i don't know what we're gonna find out but so sometimes we learn kind of diary like information things out about her sister who's having a tough time being a new kid in a new school in a new house uh and you know being gay in the mid 90s so uh, it's very interesting. And here is the uh, couples counseling retreat in the woods, um, which is currently where my parents are at. So something going on there. There. Just in case it matters at the end. Let's uh, close the door. Wait, Dad doesn't think I was snooping on him. Although I think I probably left their underwear drawer open or something. So that wouldn't surprise me. Also, I'm leaving all the lights on, because why wouldn't I? Uh, last time we found a map with a new secret passage notated on there so we're gonna go check that out and uh see what's going on there there's a secret passage i guess i'm just gonna leave them all open and behind this bookcase nope right there oh big tall panel interesting this was on a little map written by lonnie oh this is a cool little play oh a seance jeez um Aha, key to the attic. That would make sense. But this was written by a, uh, written? This was, the map was written by them. So, and we just found it. What is this book? Possession and Exorcism. Interacting with the supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. Sounds spooky. Noted psychologist. Christine Quinn gives the re guides the reader through the detection of spirit possession in oneself and others, the release of dissipated or trapped spirits, and the procedures involved in successful exorcisms. The healing of lost souls is a particular focus. Allowing loved ones and local entities to move to the next plane is sometimes the core of a spiritual cleansing. Hmm. Interesting. Um. We got a box. Honey snaps. Food pyramid, man. I used to love sugar smack. I still do love sugar smacks. Fizz right. Mm, better fizz right. I guess we'll take the key. Ah. Shocker. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. 
wonder if she's gonna be up there, or whether she's gonna be like just chilling or gonna be dead or something. Like, ugh, I don't like that. Um, can I draw on stuff? I wanna draw with the chalk. Can I? Nope. Ah, draw. Stupid. We got a name tag. Oscar. Oh, they think Oscar's still around here. Interesting. Oscar Mason. Well, I suppose it could be interesting. All right. Well, we finally got the key to the attic. This might be the end of our journey. Perhaps. But I realized it was going to be quite like this. I'd have uh, maybe probably left it in the... Uh, for the last video, we could have done a bunch of stuff all together, but you know how it goes. I really like how the ceiling's done, kind of like a floor. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, you up here? Are you dead? Stay strong and kick ass. Oh, Lonnie can really draw. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie at my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, not what I thought it was. I thought they were getting married or something. Interesting. I thought this was going to be a story about, a, like, uh, you know, what, I don't say tragic, but, like, uh, you know, the the tragic way of life where you have to, you know, you have heartbreak and you have to leave something behind, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've all been there. The, uh, uh, moments of love don't, uh, always work out and leave us feeling hollow, to say the least. Uh, looks like she's got stuff, like, I hope I don't ruin that here. Let's turn that off. Probably too late. Probably ruined her things. It's a cool picture. Alkaline fixer. Man, can you imagine these days you had to go through all this stuff just to develop some film? High contrast. Developer. Is that what they said? Developer? No, I said fixer. The army uniform. Another bottle? Can't read that. Stop that. Uh, by sulfite, stop bath. All right. Oh, I don't want to turn that on and ruin everything. Well, oh, that's a good picture. Hmm. I feel like that's a wasted opportunity to put something in there. All right, for once, I guess I'll not turn the lights on. Oh, there's a light on there. Okay, so Sam, I guess, left and is chasing down her sister. Interesting. Aha. Here we go. Kind of what I thought.
Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. Interesting. So, Sam went to find Lonnie in Salem. Are they going to stay there? Huh. Two Sarahs. Huh. El Mola. El Mala. All right, guys, well, this was a pretty good game. I enjoyed this. Heaven's the Batsy. Oh, we got our obligatory uh, copy notice, copyright notice this, uh, this episode. So, yeah. Well, I enjoyed this game. Simple art style, simple concept, but I really enjoy the uh, puzzle nature and discovering different things about uh, people of the family at different times. I mean, I'm happy for Sam, although she did Katie a little dirty, because now Katie's going to have to tell the parents, like, oh, uh, uh. Sam wasn't here when I got here. That's all I know. You know what I mean? So, well, a special thanks. Cats. Oh, my God. Thanks for playing. No, thank you for making the game. It was really good. And thank you guys for watching. I like the kind of like fade in, fade out, glow emission thing they got going on with these. It's pretty cool. Fulbright, I get that. Sam and Lonnie. Is there going to be a second one where we figure out where they're at today, what they're doing? It's going to be real short. It's just them sitting in a house and somebody's making pancakes. The other one reads a newspaper. That's it. Well, all right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is going to be this is a shorter episode this time. So um, that's pretty cool. The. Uh, The game's the game's done. So far as uh, thoughts and impressions about this game, well, I liked it. It was good. See, I enjoy the kind of go through and read things out, slowly figure out what's going on and piece it all together. I thought that was really good. And the way they did it, split up between different rooms of the house that the whole family's involved with, the different, you know, voiceovers at different times. That's about what I thought was going on uh, about finding the uh, letters and the notes at the end. Uh, so that was pretty... That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think that's a, it's a really interesting story as well. I enjoyed that. Just the way you see it, you know, in addition to the way you see it evolve is pretty cool, but also just the story itself I enjoy. I mean, that could be anybody's life, you know? It's like, I could believe that happening, you know, anywhere. Anyway. Wait, okay, so she said she got to Salem. It couldn't go all the way, and then, like, got off. I'm just thinking, I see, I'm on the East Coast, so I automatically thought, like, oh, Salem, Massachusetts, you know, because that's where Salem is. Um, is there a Salem out in, wasn't it, was this in Oregon or something? 
I don't remember where, where this was at already. It wasn't, it wasn't Washington, was it? I don't know. But the, maybe there's a Salem out there. Salem, Oregon? Yeah, maybe that's... I, that seems like a real place. Okay. I could be making all this stuff up. It's, it's a good opportunity. Uh, it's a good probability. Um, hmm. Yeah. But anyway, so I thought this was really good. I would recommend people play it if you enjoy kind of like the walking through stuff. I mean, it's not like a super exciting action thing, but if you enjoy, you know, the story and stuff. Although, of course, uh, you don't necessarily have to play it now. You watch me play it. Um, so, but yeah, if you have played this or if you've watched this all the way through and you had different thoughts or feelings or even if they're the same ones as me, um, you should let me know. If you like this game and or you like this playthrough probably if you like this playthrough um if you enjoyed watching me play through it because uh, you could dislike the game still even after seeing me play through it um so just if you like this video go ahead and leave a like on the video if you disliked it dislike it and um if you have any questions comments letters of resignation or other such queries if you want to talk with you know any thoughts on the story on the game itself the the art style was kind of low but i think that worked well, I don't say art style was low. I enjoyed the art style. Uh, graphics were not super high fidelity. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not like a graphics setting I said on my thing. Um, uh, they weren't they weren't a super high fidelity, but I didn't think that detracted from anything. Uh, that might be the only way someone could knock it that I could see. Um, if you. Hmm. I keep forgetting what I'm saying halfway through. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed what I was doing, what's going on, then yeah, do all that stuff. If you want to talk to me directly about it in real time, you don't want to have to worry about dealing with YouTube comments because, yeah, I get it. Um, it's a little weird to have conversations and do stuff that way. But um, you can instead or also uh, hit me up directly on Twitter. I'm at Hobfoot, H-O-B-F-O-O-T-E. And uh, you can twit at me there and let me know what you thought about the game um and different things like that and i would love to have a discussion with people about this uh, i really enjoyed this so um yeah i think that's finally it for me if you want to keep up with everything that's going on on bratcat with uh all the different um i don't want to say properties but you know between uh video recordings streams and a new podcast that's coming up uh hashtag tide podcast the uh, tales from the tidewater you should check out if you enjoy 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons, uh, set in the modern time, here in, uh, based kind of off here where, where we are at. Um, you should check that out. It's got an awesome cast. It'll be pretty good. I'm just feeling it. Um, so you should keep up to date with that by following us on Twitter, at Hobfoot, H-O-B. Oh, no, that's my Twitter. Um, the Bratcat Twitter. Bratcat Media. Yeah, anyway, okay, I'm rambling, I'm, do I'm done, I'm stopping.